It's no exaggeration to say the world has been on edge ever since the United States killed Qasem Soleimani, Iranian general and evil Sean Connery. <laughs> and everyone was wondering how Iran would respond. Well, last night, we found out. Overnight, Iran taking revenge, launching a barrage of missiles, targeting two U.S. military bases and coalition troops in Iraq. This, Iran said, was its vengeance for the U.S.'s killing of its top general. There were at least two waves of attacks. Then Iran's foreign minister tweeted his country was ready to step back if there was no American counterattack. And this morning, no reports of U.S. coalition or Iraqi casualties. We've just heard from the Iraqi prime minister office that they did indeed receive notification from the Iranians that there would be a strike. That was a full five hours and 45 minutes before those missiles came in. That's right. Last night, Iran launched 15 missiles at American forces in Iraq. But in an interesting twist, they killed no one, hurt no one, and gave the Iraqi bases a six-hour heads up, which is a lot of warning. You know, it's almost like they were sitting there like, let's give them one hour notice. It's like, but sir, what if they're watching the Irishman? Okay. <laughs> six hours. Give them six hours. <laughs> they need time. So Iran fired 15 missiles, gave one giant warning, and basically missed everything, which most people agree means that Iran wants this thing to go away. They wanted to respond to the, to the United States in a way that would let them keep their pride, but then also not in a way that would escalate this conflict into a war. In fact, in international diplomacy, this type of action is known as a hold me back, bro. <laughs> and, and clearly it worked. It clearly worked. Because after the missile attack, President Trump sent out a tweet saying, all is well. <laughs> yeah. Which was hilarious because the tweet was composed like Trump was writing a letter from the front lines of the Civil War. <laughs> My dearest Twitter. All is well. <laughs> Missiles launched from Iran. So far, so good. I hope to see you soon. Please kiss Ivanka for me and not Eric. <laughs> Sincerely, Donald. Hashtag MAGA. Hashtag read the transcript. <laughs> so... <laughs> it seemed like Iran was stepping down. Trump was happy with their decision, and today, the president addressed the nation to give everybody an update. And I'm not gonna lie, the address started out a little weird. <laughs> as long as I'm president of the United States, Iran will never be allowed to have a nuclear weapon. Good morning. <laughs> okay, okay. Is, is, it, is it just me, or, or did Trump find a way to make this national address sound like the beginning of an infomercial, yeah? <laughs> Iran will never have nuclear weapons. Hi, I'm Donald Trump. <laughs> Tired of missile strikes when you aren't even home? So, a really weird start, but fortunately, once Trump got into the meat of his speech, he reassured everybody that, at least for the moment, the beef with Iran has been squashed. Iran appears to be standing down, which is a good thing for all parties concerned and a very good thing for the world. The civilized world must send a clear and unified message to the Iranian regime. Your campaign of terror, murder, mayhem will not be tolerated any longer. <laughs> These historic accomplishments change our strategic priorities. Ah. <laughs> Whoa, what, what was that? Tolerate <laughs> A compliment shades? Trump's mouth was missing more targets than those Iranian missiles. <laughs> <laughs> and now, and now, personally, personally, honestly, I'm glad. I'm glad that Iran and Donald Trump seem to have agreed to let things settle down, right? Because Trump got what he wanted, killed the general, and it didn't escalate into anything. This is a win for him. But I pray, I pray that Donald Trump doesn't start watching Fox News again anytime soon, because for them, all is not well. They're gonna get hit hard. Their hostility will now be met 
with the full force of the greatest, most advanced, most sophisticated military this world has ever seen. This president will unleash holy hell on that regime. The mullahs only understand one language, and that's the language of death, um, sadly. And if death is what we have to give them to stop this, then sadly, that's what we have to do. Number one, target not just the oil, to target the launch sites that fired those 15 missiles today. Ollie North is right. It's, it, it is oil refineries, oil infrastructure. It is key missile sites. It's nuclear development sites. Throw in some ports, key infrastructure. And you know what? Why not a Quds headquarters uh, for, 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 for good nature on top of it? What? Throw in some ports and infrastructure while you're at This is wild. This dude is just adding bombing targets like he's making impulse buys at the register. You know what? Throw in chapstick and Snickers and a drone strike in an airport, because daddy got paid. <laughs>